in the previous tutorials we have learned how to create this 3d model and how to create 2d drawings from this model the links to these tutorials is given in the description now in this tutorial we will learn how to give dimension to this model in model space at first ensure that your UCS icon is in world if it is not click here and convert it into world at first we will give this bottom surface dimensions before that we need to check what is the origin position of this UCS icon to check the origin position give UCS icon command enter and choose origin so this UCS icon is placed at this position we need to move this UCS icon to this bottom position to move this UCS icon click on the UCS icon then take your cursor to the origin then click on move origin only then give the origin to this bottom endpoint and escape then give the dimension then for dimension click on annotate now here we will use annotative dimension style click here and click on annotative then to give dimension click on dimension then right now we will keep 1 as to 1 as it is ok then take your cursor on this line click on it take your cursor away and click and press escape and we will increase the annotative scale click here and we will select this 1s to 16 then we need to make some changes to dimension style so that it will look proper for that click on this arrow dimension style click on modify then in primary units we want only single digit so we will choose this single zero then click on fit we want this internal line for the radius or diameter for that click on this draw dim line between extension line then click on text we want text above the dimension line click here above and select this ISO standard then click on ok and click on close now it is properly shown then again click on dimension select this point and this point then move your cursor and give the location then next will be this line take your cursor on this line click on it and take cursor away then escape double click scroll button for zoom extent now this bottom dimensions has been given completely and next is to give dimension which are placed on this surface to change our uses to this surface click on home take your cursor on this arrow click there and select face option face then select this face and press enter UCS is aligned to this surface then give dimension for this area again click on annotate click on dimension then take your cursor on this line click take your cursor away and click now actually we want this 16 on the upper side for that we need to have this y vertical and x horizontal so for this we will rotate this UCS icon press escape click on this UCS icon take your cursor on the dot near the x take your cursor on this rotate around z axis then zoom minus make ortho on so this cursor will be straight and click now x is horizontal and y is vertical 
again we will try giving this dimension click on dimension then click on this line take your cursor ahead and click now this 16 is correct then click on this point and this point take your cursor ahead and click then orbit it then we need to give dimension from this midpoint now as the color is green and object snap indicators color is also green therefore it is not properly visible what we will do we will change the color of the object press escape double click on the object and we will choose different color we will take this one yellow escape and we will erase this 16 give e enter and click on it and enter and again click on dimension give first point at this end point and other point at the midpoint take your cursor outside now when we take it inside it automatic adjusts to the face what we will do we just orbit it and then we will take it outside and click so that it will not take reference of any other face then next will be this one click on this end point and this end point and click then this end point and this end point and click on the end of this existing dimension all this dimension has been given then next will be dimension on this surface press escape again click on home click here on the face and select this face click and enter then we will give this dimension click on annotate click on dimension click on this end point and click on this end point now it is coming on the bottom side we actually want it on the upper side for that again we will need this x horizontal and y vertical so escape click on this ucs icon take your cursor to this blue dot near x click on rotate around z axis and click then escape click on dimension give first end point second end point our quadrant will also work it is still coming on other side we want it on the upper side so what we will do just zoom minus and take your cursor outside so now it is showing correctly again zoom minus and bring it back to our desired position but keep your cursor outside then only it will place it properly if you take cursor inside then again it will switch the direction now this direction is correct click there now it is created properly then same way select this midpoint and this midpoint again take your cursor outside and take it inside and click now it is correct press escape then next will be to give this dimension of 3 for this we will need one vertical plane that means we will need xy to be vertical to change it to vertical we will need to change uses to right plane then it will align with this vertical surface to change it click on home take your cursor here click and choose this right plane now x y is vertical and z is horizontal but we want the location of this ucs icon at this position because we want to give dimension there so click on this ucs icon again take your cursor to the grip and click on move origin only and place it at the midpoint here then again click on annotate click on linear give first point give second point take your cursor outside now our three gone inside we want it on the upper side so we will have to interchange clicking points press escape 
again click on linear take this point as a first point bottom point and then give this point as a second point so it will come above click so here it is given properly then we can give this 16 also we will adjust our plane to this surface click on home click here and select face click on this face enter then click on annotate and click on linear click on this midpoint this midpoint and again click on the midpoint this dimension is also added and next will be these diameters for that we need to change our plane to this surface click on home face select this surface click and enter for this we will use diameter option click on annotate click here and select diameter then select this circle take your cursor outside and click then again diameter select this circle take your cursor outside and click then next is this one for that we need to align to this surface click on home click here and select face click inside this surface enter then again annotate and click here and select linear then give this midpoint as the first point this midpoint as the second point and click on the midpoint same way we can give this dimension again linear click on this end point and this quadrant point take your cursor slightly above and click double click scroll button all the dimension has been given then if you want to insert drawing sheet around this object then for that we need to make this UCS icon vertical for that click on home click on this arrow and select this view option click on view so your UCS icon will become vertical XY will be vertical then you can insert your drawing sheet for insert type I enter and browse your sheet browse then we will take some A4 size sheet suppose we will take this A4 open then we will keep this tick we will specify insertion point on screen and we are given scale of 1 so we will not change the scale angle is 0 ok ok the drawing sheet is very bigger maybe this is the problem of the units we will change the unit press escape we will just open that drawing of the sheet and then we will give units command un enter and make it millimeter ok and close it yes then again we will insert it and we will check unit of this drawing is millimeter then again give I enter then sheet is already there but we need to browse it again so that we can redefine it click on browse then select the sheet open ok redefine then just pan it and place it and zoom it so in this way you can place sheet around your 3d object then using text command you can fill the details and if you want to print this object then what setting is needed that we will see it. click on plot then suppose I want to create a PDF I will take this Adobe PDF general documentation then my sheet size is A4 I will take A4 297 by 210 then I want to plot window click on window to the first point second point then I will choose this fit to paper then if you use this as displayed option then you will not get proper quality now if we click on this preview and zoom it 
now here you will see that you cannot read this text so that option is not useful just right click exit and center the plot so that it will be at the center and we don't want in color also so click here and select this legacy hidden and to make it black and white click here click on this monochrome yes now see the preview so here it has been created properly and text can be read properly but what happens when you print drawing from model space these lines are added and if you don't want these lines then you will have to create isometric view in layout and then you will have to dimension it and then you will have to print it then only these lines can be removed so how to create 3d isometric view in layout to dimension 3d object in layout that we will learn in the next lecture we'll close it and we can click on ok we can give the desired name and save ok close so this pdf file is created we can watch the pdf here is the pdf it is created properly we can zoom it and we can read it properly line quality is also good so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here